Let us continue our worship as we join our hearts and minds together in prayer. Let us pray. Amazing, awesome God, we come to worship this morning thankful to be here together, listening for your word this day, your word for each one of us, your word for our faith community. We are grateful for opportunities to lift our voices together in thanksgiving, praise, and song. We are appreciative of times to voice our faith to one another, times to be encouraged and strengthened by one another, times to learn and grow more and more into your people, living faith boldly in our world. As we search for new ways to become like living stones, holy stones being built into a spiritual house, urge us to open the spiritual house to all of your children. Lead us out into the Detroit community to build relationships and partnerships, becoming neighbors with the new people you bring into our lives and learning how to be the church in the 21st century. As we come with all of our questions, wonderments, doubts, and fears, help us to feel your deep acceptance of us, even as we learn to accept and welcome in others with all of their questions, wonderments, doubts, and fears. And remind us, Holy God, questions, wonderments, doubts, and fears are essential to our lives of faith. We are to continue growing into the whole people of God. We pray for the Presbyterian National Multicultural Conference this week in Fort Worth, Texas. We pray that our Fourth Street representation will be a faithful witness, using what we learn here in this faith community to build up others, and open to hearing new things, being encouraged and growing, eager to bring back new energy, creativity, imagination, and love back to this faith community and to our neighborhood. God of compassion and care, we come asking for your comfort and peace for all struggling in this life, for those dealing with injury and pain and illness, for those walking through loss and grief and loneliness, for all trying to find their way. Loving God, who shares the joys and tears of our lives, we pray especially this day for Sarah Morgan and Bobby Edwards, for Rose Grosscup, for Valerie Kimbrough, for the Bryant family, for others among us dealing with difficult health issues, emotional pain, and overwhelming circumstances. We pray for Ruth Azar and for all involved in the Second Mile Center. We pray for the Second Mile neighborhood. We pray, O oh God, for the children. As we have listened to the news this week and in recent weeks, the pain and hurt in our world can be overwhelming. We lift our prayers for the world to you, creator God of justice, and I invite your prayers just in a word or short phrase for issues around the world. Are there particular countries or places you'd like to lift up in a word or a short phrase? God, hear our prayers, silent and spoken. We pray for our own leaders in all levels of government, in all levels of our church. We pray for government, political and religious leaders around the world. Give each leader a heart and a mind for compassion, justice and peace. We pray for ourselves, that we will be like living stones, allowing ourselves to be built into a spiritual house and becoming a holy priesthood. Grant us wisdom and courage, O God, guiding us in living faith faithfully, day by day, each day of the week. Grant us discernment and compassion, guiding us in effective ways of sharing faith and sharing hope with those who come into our lives. Let us be living stones, O God, as we pray together the prayer Jesus taught, saying, Our Father, Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy reign come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the reign and the power and the glory forever. Amen.